Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I am back live, as in live in person, as it were, and coming to you from my stamping studio in San Antonio, Texas, having been away for two glorious weeks in the UK, and um, I was able to have some pre-recorded material for you. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're joining me. And I am back in the saddle. Uh, I definitely have, I'm working through some jet lag. We got in late, late last night. And uh, you know, your, your body just has to have a little bit of time to get used to the time zone that um, you find yourself in. Hey, Marsha, I'm glad you're here as well. Okay, I'm gonna jump right in and then I will be coming back to um, answer some questions that you may have and also to, um, yeah, to answer questions and comments. I'm actually, I just realized this is what happens when you get out of the grave. You know, oh, my, my computer is up here. I need to grab my computer and make sure that I am, that you're seeing what I'm seeing and um, that we don't get lost along the way. So that's how out of it I am. It's uh, definitely taking me a little bit of time to get back in the grave. It always does, but... I will say there's nothing like a really proper vacation to uh, get your, your creative mojo working again. I tell you, I am bursting with ideas and excitement over all things stamping. Having said that, I got to unpack and regroup before I can get everything going that I want to get going. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to highlight something from our mini catalog. You know, the Stampin' Up! mini catalog, well, I shouldn't say the Stampin' Up! mini catalog, the Stampin' Up! spring mini catalog, because we get two per year, is still going, and it's going all the way through the end of June. So you're going to want to make sure that if there's anything in this book that didn't make it into the big book, um, that you're wanting, that you grab that before it goes away. And I'm thinking about Father's Day coming up. So I wanted to share with you kind of a fun card design that I created for my in-person class that I ran for May. And what I did in that class was we did some things out of the mini catalog and then some things from the um, upcoming, well, Actually, this was April class. I take that back. May class is coming up. I usually do my in-person card class the last Saturday of the month. So anyway, we did a little bit of sneak peek from the new annual catalog, and then we did some from the mini catalog. And this is the one that I'm going to key in on today. Now, I will tell you that this bundle is an awesome bundle, but it's not one that I got. Because for me, um, I would not get enough use out of this to own it. However, the the twine is awesome. You get three awesome colors. The navy is probably my most used. Poppy Parade in White is really nice as well. And then the um, Evening Evergreen. These stars are really fun to use. They're not just for guy cards. And, and the, the same with the twine. I think both of these elements can be used in a whole host of ways. They're just kind of neutral colors. And then the paper is just super fun. And it's really, really good to use. So, uh, let me show you, because that's where I'm going to go with you today, is kind of a quilt pattern. And the one, before I do that, let me show you, this is one that I had done for my paper party for the June, uh, for the June to January to June <laughs> mini catalog, which I'm getting ready to do one next month for the annual catalog. And what I do with that is I team up with my friend in Canada, Karina Chen, and we make lots of projects using the papers from the new catalog. So this was a paper party. Everybody got a share, which means a quarter pack of all the papers in the mini book. And so the one in Jan and I have coming up next month gives you a fourth of all the papers in the new annual catalog. So this is one of the cards that we made. This is actually called a joy fold. And um, you know what's fun about this is it uses all of the paper, which is what we really focus on 
with our paper parties, but see, I cut these, I cut these greetings out from the paper. So if you don't have the stamps, you can really use the paper a lot. And I just had a general happy dad day on this. Um, and then you can see all of these cute uh, resin stars and then uh, the twine as well. Uh, thank you for that welcome home, Kay, and hello to you as well. I'm glad you're joining us. So let me show you what we're gonna do here with the kind of quilt pattern, and then um, we're gonna do a little bit of heat embossing. So I think I was looking for a bone folder because before I got sidelined with my ADD brain. Okay, there's a lot of measurements on this and I'm gonna give them to you orally here, but then I do have a, an inspiration sheet I will share with you. So this is the card kit that you get when you come to one of my classes and they're like this in the envelope. This is the same type card kit you get when you purchase one of my online classes. And hey Sharon, I'm glad you are joining us from Rochester, New York. So I wanted to tell you that I had a couple of these card kits left over from my in-person class. So I'm gonna be mailing these out to three lucky people that get their names drawn from the comments today. Now, this is something that I have been um, talking about throughout my time in the UK when I was on vacation. Each time I did a, um, each time I did a pre-recorded Facebook Live for you, I told you that I had card kits to send out. So these card kits are, I, I will, be drawing for those over the next day or two. I've got a, I have an online event tonight. So as I'm catching up, all of these things are gonna get mailed out. I will be contacting you uh, directly if you, um, if you win one of my drawings and I don't already have your mailing address because I'm gonna need to pop this in the mail for you. Okay, so let me show you what you get with this three, with these three card kits that are gonna go in the mail. So this is an 11, by four and a quarter uh, piece of Poppy Parade cardstock, and I have scored it at five and a half and six and a half. Hey, Pam, I'm glad you are here. And yes, happy mail will be going out. There's a lot of happy mail going out this week. Now, this is what is sometimes called a book fold or a book binding fold. So this is a super easy fun fold that I really love because you see it's gonna open like a book. Now before I, well, let me go ahead and stick this down while, I'm, while I've got this open. So you wanna make sure that you use plenty of adhesive to create the binding on your book binding card. Hey Susie, I'm glad you're here. Now, I have two pieces of cardstock. One is Night of Navy, one is very vanilla, because this one's gonna go on the inside, and that will make it easy to stamp on and to write my um, my greeting, my personal note. Now this particular piece is four and a quarter by four. And so that's gonna perfectly nest in that little piece that I have. So this is again, four and a quarter by four, but I will have an inspiration sheet for you. So that is gonna fit right there. And this again is gonna be kind of like a quilt pattern. So you could do this with any set of papers. And I love the fact that you can do this with, you know, paper that's more masculine or paper that's more feminine. Now I have just a little tiny piece here of this um, pattern that has, let me grab this, it fell on the floor. Um, the designer paper has so many fun options. This I love, this navy um, wood grain. I mean, you could use that for, for girl cards too. Um, but these are super fun to cut out. And then this one, I think these are supposed to be balls, but they could be anything, you know? And then the other side has that gorgeous sunburst. They make a great scrapbook page. And then, well, all these bits and pieces that fell on the floor. Look at those baseball bats and balls. But this is the one I use, the stars. And then here's another one where you can cut out the pennants. I mean, these could be for anything. And then some stitching, like baseball stitching here, baseball. So yeah, these are just super fun patterns to use. And I think they really lend themselves to, this was left over from a paper party. See, that's when you get the, um, the paper share, you get six by six pieces of everything. So, okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay. 
So I'm using just this little tiny piece of the kind of baseball gear, and this is four by seven eighths because this is a one inch piece. So I didn't want to, um, I wanted to have a little bit of a surround on that. So see how that's gonna give me just a little bit of a, um, ay, ay, ay. it's gonna give me a little bit of a frame and actually I'm putting it super close to the fold so that all of those are even. Okay, now we are going to put in a piece. This is the bases. And this piece is three by two and seven eighths. Like I said, this is like a little quilt pattern. You've got all your little pieces of fabric, except in this case, I have all these fun little pieces of designer series paper. And I'm gonna put this really tight. These are gonna be super tight layer um, mats. Then I'm gonna put my piece over here, my stripe. This is three and seven eighths by one because this is a four inch piece. So you can see where I'm doing super tight um, mats, frames. So there is my, because I want just a little bit of this navy peeking out. Now you could, you know, even this up a little bit and make them a little bit fatter, but I like the, um, now I stuck this down and I needed to have just a wee bit, it's a tiny bit crooked. Let's see if I can, can I straighten that just a bit? Oh yeah. That's the good thing about seal is until it actually dries, it's like it's just a super soft glue. And then last but not least, I have this little piece of the um, stars. And this piece is just a simple three by one. So again, I will have these for you. And this is what's fun when you're doing this, just like when you're making a quilt, is you just kind of put, get all these different patterns that you want and start playing with them. And it's a great way to use up scraps of designer paper. And I know that you all have scraps of designer series paper. So there is my little quilt. Now I'm gonna put an, a greeting on the inside. Let me show you what I'm using. This was actually debuted in our spring catalog, but it carried over into our an new annual catalog. It has all of your spring holidays, like Happy Mother's Day, Happy Easter, um, Where'd it go? And then, and happy Father's Day, but then you have a really nice happy birthday, so proud of you, thank you, congrats. Things that can go on the inside and the outside, as well as a great happy anniversary. So when I did this at my in-person card class, and I can't find the <laughs> sample to save my life, I actually did it as happy birthday, I mean, happy Father's Day, but I put this happy birthday out as well because they both fit in the die that I'm using, and that way, you know, people in a class, sometimes people don't need a happy Father's Day. And although my father and my father-in-law have passed away long ago, I have uh, a son-in-law and a son that are both fathers. So I will be sharing with them. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to heat emboss this because this is going to have a little piece of gold right here. And this is a three by two piece of gold foil that I ran through my... Um, stitched rectangle dies and I used this next to the smallest and I'm going to use this smallest one for my greeting but I'm going to actually heat emboss it. I don't heat emboss on camera very often <laughs> but I felt like it was something that uh, would be a good thing to share today. So let me set that aside. Now we used to have something called an embossing buddy. If you still have one, it's an awesome thing because it helps to remove any kind of static from your cardstock because when I put this heat embossing, um, um, what do you call this? The powder on here, it's got a lot of static, static electricity and it tends to kind of go places that you don't want it to go. Now in order to heat emboss. The best thing to use, honestly, is Versamark. You can actually heat emboss with any of our 
inks, you just have to move really quickly because that ink dries. And what's great about this um, Versamark, which will last you for years, the pad, you can get a, a refill just like our other inks. But this creates just a really subtle, it's a watermark uh, dye, not dye, watermark ink. <laughs> I am definitely brain dead today. And it's super subtle. You could let that dry. It will eventually dry. But it's kind of a sticky, clear ink. And that is going to allow me to take my gold embossing powder, sprinkle it on there, and then tap, tap, tap the excess off. So now this is ready for me to heat emboss. Now, what I like to do is take, you can see this is very well worn. I've got um, a really um, well worn clipboard, but this will save your fingers from getting burned, <laughs> which is a good thing. And then I'm going to heat up my heat tool and it needs just a little bit of heating up. This is not the same thing as a blow dryer. So you, you cannot get the same heat from a blow dryer. And this is specifically designed for my cardstock. Now, you wanna hold it in place until you see how now it's starting to catch. The gold is getting shiny and that's what I want. You don't wanna be waving it around like this. A lot of people do that, but you'll actually, it just takes longer. So you wanna just move it all the way over until everything is shiny and then I'm gonna turn it off. You don't wanna keep going or it will actually reverse the shine and it will become dull again. So now I have a little bit of spattering here from the gold, but I think it looks good. Especially this is a guy's card, it's gonna be kind of rustic. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Now I am going to run this through my Baby Boss machine and I'm going to use the smallest of the stitched rectangle dies. And then that is going to be the perfect greeting for my guy card. And I do think that heat embossing is really a good thing on guy cards. The guys tend to be really wowed by it. I think everybody gets wowed by it but I think the guys in particular appreciate. And it's a great way to add uh, some shine to a guy's card without adding like, I don't know, anything froofy. We don't want froofy girly stuff on our masculine cards. Okay, did that shift? No, we are in good shape. I think I'm second guessing myself a little bit here. Seems like it's shifting. We will hope that it's not. So there is my baby boss. You can see why it's very handy. And then I can just pop this closed like that and it's out of the way. Okay, let me put my little plates over there. So again, this was just a three by two inch scrap now, what I wanna do before I lose this is, usually um, when I'm working in a diff my regular design center, um, I have a little magnet there and I will throw all kinds of, um, not throw, but you know, set on there. I have a little magnet sheet and I'll just throw things up there while I'm working and then put them away when I'm done. Um, that just makes it easier for me. Now, this is going to layer right on top of this. See how that gives me a nice little surround. So this is kind of an elegant card with a baseball design. The gold, it just really makes it come to life. And I am gonna pop that up on dimensionals. You can see how it's all coming together now. And my dimensionals are right here. So let's do three dimensionals on the back. I'm gonna go one, two, three. And I like to put my nail right in the center, or if you don't have much in the way of nails, you can use your pick, your take a pick tool, and that just kind of makes it really easy to lift those off. That is gonna go right there, and there, it completes my little quilt pattern. 
So what I'm gonna do next is, let me get the, there's, I can feel there's like heat embossing powder on here. Thank you for the welcome home, Laura. I'm really glad to be home and was able to share quite a few pictures with y'all of my um, kind of a little bit of touring that we were doing. You know, we have very young grandchildren, so uh, in the UK, so we're not going to castles and things like that. Although we did a lot, and we did we did a lot of that. We we lived there for nine years, so. We were going places that were very, very kid-friendly, where the kids could just, you know, run, ride their little bikes, and have a good time while we were ooing and aahing over all of the beautiful buildings, all of the history, all of the beautiful, beautiful gardens are in bloom right now with all the spring flowers. Now, this is a great inside piece that says you are every bit of wonderful. Okay, I think that's a great, uh, that's a great um, observation. This actually makes a good patriotic card. I think you're right, because it is largely red, white, and blue with a little bit of gold thrown in there and a little bit of green, so yeah. So this is gonna go on the inside of my card. I think I've got a little bit of something there. But hopefully an eraser will take that off. So this really is all about getting the designer series paper cut the way you want it and then the designer series paper does all the work for you then you just need a great you know a really nice greeting on there and then you're done now i am going to come behind here with <clears throat> some of these resin star embellishments and again this is great for any of the sports fans in your family guys or girls and let's see i'm going to take one of these navy ones right here and then I'm gonna take a go a yellow one up here. And then I think I'm gonna take, this is what's fun. These are just, they're great colors. And you can just kind of sprinkle them across here any way you want. And I think because I have a bunch of them here and I think it just kind of lends itself to less, or more not less. I think I'm gonna put a couple over here too. Let's see. Let's go here and here. So now I have Happy Father's Day with my resin stars and my Hey Sports Fan Designer Series paper. Super quick and easy. I mean, I did a little fancy footwork here with heat embossing the uh, greeting, but you could easily do that with just a stamped greeting. And once again, I will have the um, inspiration sheet for you because you could make this with any set of designer series papers and I have three awesome card kits that will go out to three lucky winners I will be putting every comment that you make on here I'll put your name into the drawing and these will come to three lucky winners I aim to have those in the mail by the end of the week so hopefully the drawings get done tomorrow I was doing drawings for my team earlier today, and um, I did want to share, as I'm signing off today, that we have an amazing, amazing starter kit special going right now, whereby you can get all of these products for free when you purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. And the Starter Kit is just simply uh, joining Stampin' Up! by spending $99 plus tax and getting $125 of whatever you want. Then you get all of this for free. And there's no obligation after that. Now, you will want to use your discount, no doubt, because you'll get to then buy all of your Stampin' Up! supplies at 20% off. I haven't paid full price since I joined Stampin' Up! Super fun. Uh, we have a great online community as well as in-person community here in San Antonio. And what I'm doing tonight is I'm doing a little uh, Zoom meeting to just stare about, stare, share about the starter kit special and um, answer questions. We're going to be doing some mystery stamping. If you'd like to join me for that event tonight, it's at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. And there is a Zoom link that I will send to you. So just put in the comments here, 
um, that you want to join me tonight for the Zoom meeting. Just put Zoom or I want to be there. And when I say join me tonight, truly, it's joining me tonight for my Zoom event. There's no obligation to join Stampin' Up! if you come to the Zoom meeting tonight. There are going to be some prizes. There's going to be some fun. And um, we're just going to have a good time. And we're going to do some mystery stamping. So mystery stamping is where I give you all of the, um, all the measurements. And then if you want to, it's totally optional, but it's super fun. And then you can make whatever card you want with the um, measurements that are given. So let me know if you would like to join me. And let's see, Sharon. Uh, card kits for your summer home. Yeah, this is what's, you know, paper pumpkin are awesome, awesome ways to stamp when you're going away for the summer or on a little trip. But if you don't have paper pumpkin kits that are still needing to be completed or any of our kit collection that need to be completed, this is the way to go, is just to kind of organize yourself ahead of time so that you have some kits made up and then you just stamp and assemble when you are on your trip. You could even very easily take the Baby Boss. So this is one of the reasons this little machine is so nice is it's just so small. I mean, look at that. And my hands are pretty small. So there's, you know, that's how big it is. It's like a little mini lunchbox. Uh, you've just heard there was a shooting in San Antonio today. I'm not even aware of that. So, um, yes, prayers for those involved. And, you know, just a little, um, just a little word. One of the things I love about stamping is we live in a, in a world where there's a lot of stress and there's some awful things that are going on, um, in the world at large and sometimes within our own personal sphere and stamping it just takes us away from that for a little while. It's our positive, happy place. And then we can go back into whatever's facing us, whether it's a difficult diagnosis or someone who is ill or just the stress of raising young children or tending to elderly loved ones or um, a super stressful job, whatever it is. Stamping just rejuvenates us and nourishes our soul in a really unique way. And so I, um, I appreciate your, um, your well wishes, Sharon. And I confess I have not had the news on it all today, just trying to catch up. And that's one of the other things I love about vacation as I step away from the news. And then when I come back and uh, get back into reality, as it were, yeah, things have happened while I've been away, but um, we are still here. Okay, well, that is it for today. I hope you can join me for my Zoom gathering tonight. I will be here Thursday for some simple and stepped up stamping. And I thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks so much. Take care and God bless.